Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. I blacked out the, uh, you know, Finn and Lenny. They're in a mood this morning, so I'm gonna make sure it's nice and calm and chill in here. Um, if you're just joining and you've never been here before, you're in luck. Um, today's class is going to be very much a beginner-friendly session. Uh, it'll be low and slow to the ground, um, and I'll make sure I give you guys lots of modifications along the way. Um, again, if you have no idea who I am, I'm Leslie. I have a condition called TOS, thoracic outlet syndrome, um, and I've really used yoga to almost put it in remission. I don't want to say it's there, but it's basically there. I can live my life without really thinking about it, and yoga has really been a place for me to relieve my pain and help others relieve their pain, um, whether it's physically, mentally, whatever that may be. So I'm really glad that you are here. If you are joining me, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Let me know that you're actually here. If you're on YouTube later, subscribe. And if you guys didn't know, all of these sessions do end up on my YouTube later. Um, I usually post every Sunday morning, um, so you can get yoga live with me today and then an old one tomorrow. Uh, so with that, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get onto the mat. Get your water out. If you don't have any water, you can take a sip before we begin. And it's just gonna be a chill, chill morning down in the basement of my house. That's where we are, if you didn't know. Which over the summer, we had flooding down here, so all of this flooring is actually really nice rubber flooring uh, because we had carpet, and that was absolute chaos to remove, so we never want to do that again. Uh, so we got this really cool rubber flooring that's got this nice warm color, so anyways, there's your super random fact of the morning, but go ahead and set your watches if you are uh, into that kind of thing so you can keep track of every activity of your life and uh, get yourself in a nice comfortable seat. You can have your legs crossed if you'd like or have them extended out long, whatever is comfortable to you. Just make sure you're upright through your spine. Go ahead and just relax your hands in your lap in a comfortable way. And then when you're ready, close your eyes. We're gonna focus on our breathing at the beginning of our practice. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the nose. Inhale, biggest breath you've taken all morning. And let it go. In. And out. And keep that rhythm going in and out through the nose as we begin to just calm our mind, calm our body, focus inward. And for my new yogis, this is the hardest part of the practice. You think that you have to have a super still, silent mind and not listening to those to-dos. And it's okay that they're there, just don't give them the extra energy. Every time you notice you're thinking about that to-do list or what's coming next or getting anxious for the day, just count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, Three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again. Just bringing your attention to the breath can help limit that excess of thoughts that we're, he we're hearing, we're probably feeling some type of an emotion related to whatever's going on in your head. So if we can focus on our breath, it really truly helps bring you to a much calmer place. So we'll just breathe. Don't forget to smile. Convince your brain that this is the best morning you've had all week. And with that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly, and take a big breath in and just notice what moves. If you're noticing that your upper body is moving, that's usually because we have a stress breath here. And we just literally lift our chest, lift our shoulders, get everything nice and tight, 
and that's when you start to feel that pain in your neck, in your trap, in your upper back. So with this next inhale, I want you to make sure we're inhale, press that belly, send your chest forward, and on the exhale, really pull it in and deeply exhale all of that air out. So take a big breath in, big belly, and exhale, let it all go. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. One more just like that, in and out. Great. With the next breathing pattern, I want you to take your hands right onto your ribs. And again, as we breathe, feel your ribs pressing left and right. And as we exhale, feel them sinking back to your center. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In and out. Great job. You're going to go ahead and release your hands down on front of your knees here. Extend your arms long, just really tucking your fingertips under your kneecaps here. Making sure we're sitting up nice and tall and lowering your shoulders away from your ears. Take a big breath in, look up. And exhale, chin to chest, look down. Keeping a nice tall spine here. Inhale, look up. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, and exhale, one more just like that, inhale all the way up, and as we exhale, we're going to tuck our chin into our chest and begin rolling your spine towards that back wall, tailbone's going to roll towards the sky here, and really just feel your shoulder blades releasing towards the front of the room, opening up through that upper back. And just feeling this stretch deeply. Take a big breath in and out. Keep it going. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Inhale, press into your tailbone. Roll all the way up. Nice straight spine again. Look up. And exhale. We're going to sink it back and get it rolling motion through our spine. Inhale, chest comes forward. And exhale, round it back. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Really just waking up our spine, getting everything loose and ready to move. And connecting that movement to your breath. Two more. Last one. Great job. Inhale, come forward. And we're going to take a big breath. Sweep those arms all the way up. Palms together. Press palm into palm. Feel that pressure here. Take a big breath in. And exhale, release your hands down to your side. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale. We're going to twist to the left. Release that right hand onto the left knee. And your left hand comes back behind you. Fingertips onto the floor. And then when you're ready, send your gaze over that left shoulder. Continue being straight through the spine here. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Sink a little deeper into that twist. Never straining. Never overdoing it. Just listen to your body's limits. Focus on that breathing in and out. One more breath here. Inhale, arms go up, come back to the center. And exhale, twist to the opposite side. Left hand onto the right knee, right fingertips back behind. And when you're ready, look over your right shoulders. I guess shoulder, you don't have two right shoulders. You get what I mean. Take a big breath in and out. One more, just like that, in and out. Inhale, arms up, come back to center. And exhale, float them down to your side. Inhale, we're going to lift our shoulders up towards our ears. And exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. One more, in and out. Great. Inhale. Bring those arms forward. Palms together, pointing towards, towards the wall in front of you. Take a big breath in. 
And on an exhale, we're gonna glide that right arm across the body, opening it up to the back wall. And again, look over that right shoulder. Focusing on that breathing, releasing through your jaw, just opening your lips just slightly so we can feel the release through the left side of our neck here. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. One more big breath in. And on an exhale, bring that right hand forward. Inhale, glide that left arm back. Look over your left shoulder. Focusing on those big, deep inhales. And exhale. Part your lips. Relax through your jaw. And then again, if your mind starts to wander, just count your breath. One more breath here. In. And on that exhale, bring it forward. You release your hands down to your knees. And then we're going to come into an all fours position with your knees underneath of your hips and your wrists directly underneath of your shoulders into our tabletop here. So spread your fingertips nice and wide. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Take a big breath in. Send your gaze forward. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips, look forward. And exhale, round, tuck your chin into your chest, pull your upper back towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Moving through our cat cows, connecting to your breath here. And we'll do two more. In, out, last one. Great job. Come into that neutral tabletop position. And I want you to take your left leg, send it out away from the mat, and go ahead and plant your foot directly onto the floor. You can keep your back toes curled under that left foot. And again, come into that neutral tabletop position. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled, we're going to sink your hips towards your heels, feeling a really deep stretch through your legs here. Holding it there for one breath in. Out, inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, sink it back and hold for two breaths. One more. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, sink it back. We're gonna go with a one count. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. In, out. One more, in and out. Great, send it forward. You're gonna bring that knee in and we're gonna extend the right leg out. I don't have room, so I gotta spin around. So again, go ahead and really plant that right foot down onto the floor, curl through those left toes, spread your fingertips nice and wide and make sure we're in that nice neutral spine. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sink it back, holding it here for two breaths. Again, getting some hip mobility, feeling that stretching, lengthening through your legs here. One more breath in and out. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, sink it back, holding it there for two breaths. One more. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, sink it back on that one count. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Keep it going. Last one. Great job. Bring it back in. Pull that leg in. Go ahead and curl those toes under. Take a big breath in. And then on an exhale, slow and control. Begin to lift your hips towards the sky. Coming into our first downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent here. Lift your heels away from the floor. And sink your chest closer towards your thighs. I want you to really focus on pressing in to all 10 fingers, but really feeling the weight into the index finger and your thumb pads. Take another breath here, in and out. Great, inhale, really bend those knees. Look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. I want you to bring both of your feet nice and close together, heels touching, toes touching if available. And then again, nice big bend in your knees, release your upper body over your lower body, and tuck your chin right into your chest. 
Allow your arms to just hang freely. And just close your eyes for a moment. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, we're gonna glide your hands up to our thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through your upper body, like we're the figure seven. Send your gaze out past your nose into our halfway lift. Take another big breath in. And exhale, forward fold, releasing it down. Again, you can keep a nice big bend here, or you can begin to lengthen through your legs. Inhale, glide yourself halfway up. And exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, bend those knees, slowly control, you're going to roll all the way up to standing, lengthening through your legs, your upper body, loop your shoulders up, back and down, and really press your heels in towards one another, feel your legs, feel your glutes engage here, take a big breath in, and out, go ahead and close your eyes for this next one, inhale, exhale, Great, bend those knees, drop your hands down. Inhale, stand all the way up, draw a big circle with your arms, give me a slight back bend at the top, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. I want you to go ahead and plant your palms, spreading those fingers nice and wide, and then step one foot back and the other. Shifting yourself into a plank position here, keeping your wrists directly under your shoulders, and tucking that tailbone under just slightly. Take a big breath in, holding it here. And if this isn't an option for you, drop down onto your knees. Make it more available to what your body can handle. Focus on that breathing. Pull your belly button towards the ceiling. Big breath. Exhale, let it go. One more, in. And on an exhale, keep your elbows directly into your side and slow and controlled. Lower all the way down. Release your belly to the floor. Uncurl your toes. And when you're ready, take an inhale. Press in your hands. Lift away from that floor, away from the mat. Engage your glutes here. And release your shoulders down your spine. Focus on that breath. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to hold it here for two more breaths. Really opening up the front side of our body. Biggest breath you've taken all day in. And on an exhale, send your hips to your heels. And along the way, open your knees up as wide as your mat. Bring those big toes in to touch. And then release your hips to your heels. Arms extended overhead. And your forehead's going to come down and touch the mat. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in. And out. Even bigger breath, inhale, exhale through your mouth this time, inhale, exhale, let it go, one more just like that, in, and out, great, just let that breath come to a normal rhythm here, in and out through the nose. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next inhale, find your flow up to our tabletop position. Again, nice flat back, hands underneath of your shoulders, wrists and your hips over your knees here. Take a big breath in and out. 
Now on that next inhale, we're going to take our right leg, we're going to send our knee towards that front wall, and we're going to really, again, work on some of that mobility by making these giant circles with your right knee. So really press into the top of that left foot, keep an even weight between your hands, and keep making those giant circles with that right knee. Connect it to the breath, inhale lifting, exhale lower, and then we're gonna reverse, going the opposite direction. Two more. And last one. Awesome job. Go ahead and extend that leg out, plant those toes onto the floor, and just sink your weight back so we can get that deep stretch through our calf here. Holding it in, breathing. Exhale. Inhale, we're going to send it out to the right. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, see if you can send it even farther over to the right. And then keeping it there, we're just going to lift our leg up and then down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. And it doesn't even have to be a big lift. It can just be a couple inches off the floor. Two more. Great job, last one. Awesome work, bring that leg in, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but on the opposite side. So again, make sure that right foot is planted down, and when you're ready, lift that left leg up parallel to the ground, and begin drawing those circles with your knee. Keeping an even weight in your hands, pressing into the top of that right foot, and again, just feeling your hips working hard for you. Connect it to the breath. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Do two more. And then reverse directions. Inhaling in and out. Great job. One more. And then when you're ready, send that leg back, planting your toes, and sink your weight towards that back wall, feeling a deep stretch through the calf, really pressing your heel towards the wall behind you. Inhale, exhale, one more. Awesome, bring yourself back forward. We're gonna tap our foot over to the right just slightly, bring it back, and then inhale, really send it out to the side. Holding it here, and then when you're ready, lift it away from the floor, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Two to go. Last one. Awesome job. Go ahead and bring that knee back in. Curl your toes under. And with a big inhale, exhale. We're going to send our hips all the way up. Downward facing dog. You should feel a little more movement in your hips here. You can keep your heels lifted if you need, or bend in the knees. And just sink your chest towards your thighs here. Inhaling in, and out. One more, in, out. Inhale, really bend those knees, look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Snuggle those heels and toes in towards one another, and inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chin into your chest. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow here into our rag doll. And begin to find a sway left to right. Feeling the weight in the all four corners of your feet here. And just breathe. And just come to center, holding here in stillness. Inhaling in. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees. Big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Why don't you go ahead and plant your palms down. Step your left foot back this time. And then the other, shifting into our plank. Holding it here for three breaths. In, out, really focus on your core, engage your glutes, 
One more, in. And on that exhale, keep your elbows into your side. Slowly lower all the way down and move through our vinyasa. Inhaling into our up dog. And exhale, send your hips to your heels into our child's pose. Lean again, open your knees as wide as your mat or you can keep them in the center. Walk your hips to your heels and then release your forehead all the way down. You can keep your arms out long and even dig your fingertips into the mat if you need an extra stretch through that upper body. Or if you'd like to relax a little bit, just bring your hands underneath of your shoulders and just really allow your body to release here. Closing your eyes if you haven't already. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great. Just let your breath come to a normal rhythm here. In and out through the nose. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, press your hands into the mat and lift your upper body away from the floor. Pull your knees into the center and send your hips to your heels, sitting up nice and tall. You can take a drink of your water if you would like. And then just find a moment to breathe. And bring your hands right by your sides here. Loop those shoulders up, back and down. And take a big breath in and out. Great. Go ahead and bring your hands forward. Curl your toes under and slow and controlled. Sink your hips back to your heels, feeling a deep stretch through the bottoms of your feet. If it's too much, lift up and away so we don't have too much pressure here. Otherwise, again, bring your hands at your side. Send your gaze forward and just focus on that breath. Big inhale and exhale. In and out. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Take a big breath here and exhale, bring them down to your side, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale, bring them down, chin to chest. One more, in and out. Great job. Go ahead and send your legs to one side or the other and shift your body weight into the center of your mat. I'm going to turn so I'm front on so you guys can actually see what I'm going to do. So take a big breath in. You're going to open your knees as wide as your mat. Just bring your knees in towards the center, holding it here for a moment. Inhale, exhale. We're going to just release our legs, release our knees, creating this 90 degree shape with our knee and with our foot. And just release them, let them go to the right. You can bring your hands down to the mat for a little stability here. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, drop them to the opposite side. Again, really working on some of our hip mobility here. Inhale, up. Exhale, release opposite side. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going with your breath. Just finding that comfortable rhythm, making sure we're keeping our feet flexed at that 90 degree and keeping that 90 degrees in your knees here. Great job. One more each side. Inhale and exhale. Awesome. Go ahead and bring bottoms of your feet together right in front of you. 
into our butterfly position, and then we're going to take our fingers, interlace them, and wrap them right around your toes. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, lift through your chest, and as we exhale, we're just going to bow forward over our legs. You can have your elbows right into the sides of your thighs, or drop them in front of your calves here. Focus on that breathing, big inhale, exhale, chin to chest. See if you can release a little bit more, bending from the hips, not from the middle of the back. Keep a nice neutral spine here. Inhale, exhale, two more breaths here. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and release your arms, release that bind. And then we're going to extend our legs long out in front of us. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a big breath in. Palms come onto the mat at your side. And exhale, let it go. Flex your toes towards your face here. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. And exhale, bending from the hips. We're going to release our upper body forward, folding over our legs. Maybe you catch at your shins. Maybe it's right at your knees. With time, you'll be able to grab the bottoms of your feet. And again, just tuck your chin into your chest, feeling that release. Rotate your big toes in towards the center. And just breathe. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, slow and controlled, release your upper body all the way back up. Take a big breath in, extend your arms out long. And on an exhale, release yourself all the way down, slow and controlled. Arms come up and overhead, big stretch here. And on an exhale, pull your knees into your chest, catch them with your hands here, and just give them a little tug. Lifting that tailbone, away from the floor, and then coming into our stillness. Take a big breath in, and out. One more big inhale, and on an exhale, I want you to go ahead and release that left leg down, and send your right knee over to the left side of your mat. Your right arm is going to come back behind, palm open to the ceiling, and again, look towards that right hand here. Focusing on your breath, Inhale, exhale, sinking that right shoulder to the mat. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, come back to center, both knees in towards the center. Give them a little tug, and then when you're ready, release that right knee down. Left knee goes to the right side of your mat, and then that left arm extends, palm open to the ceiling. Focusing on your breathing here, in, out, two more breaths here, one more, awesome, roll back into the center, both knees into your chest, one more little tug, and then when you're ready, release one leg and the other, allow your feet to fall open as wide as your mat. Allow your arms to fall down at your sides, palms open to the sky, and then just close your eyes. Take a big breath in, and exhale, let it go. I want you to bring a big smile onto your lips, and again, think of one more thing that you're grateful for from today.
And with that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and close. And then roll onto your side facing me. And we'll take a breath there. Using your arm as a pillow here. Inhaling in. And out. Press into the floor, come all the way up into a comfortable seat. Hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big breath in. And out. Inhale, bring your palms all the way up to your forehead. Exhale, let it go. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Elbows go wide. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And on an exhale, bow forward. Sealing that practice. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I hope you are feeling ready to go for your Saturday. Um, and again, if you haven't, invite your friends to join. Subscribe on YouTube. Do all the things. Because it's good stuff. And I'm going to keep coming back every Saturday morning. As long as my health and all of that allows me to do so. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.